Hi, how you doing today? Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm Dr. Washington. I'll be your social worker today. Okay, my name is Ginger. How you doing, Ginger? I'm good, thank you. Doing good. Well, before we get the session started, I'd just like to let you know about your limits of confidentiality and um, your client rights. So, I agree, if you mention anything about yourself or others being harmed or you harming others, I'll have to report that to our mandated reporter. And that also includes being abused and with neglect. And with your rights, you had the right to a higher standard of care and services. You had the right to be treated with courtesy, respect, and dignity. And you had also had the right to be informed of all the services available to you. And the rest of the rules and everything is on here. If you agree, it, you're signed. Thank you. And tell me, what brings you here today? Um, I'm just feeling really like sad and depressed, and I just I don't. I'm a mother, but I don't feel like a mother, mm -hmm. and I'm just always tired and sleepy, and I just never have the energy to do anything with my daughter. Okay. First off, how old is your daughter, by the way? She's six. And I heard you mention that you don't have the energy to do anything no more. Can you elaborate elaborate for that on that for me? I mean, because she's six, she always wants to play and go outside and I just never have the energy to run around outside or outside to do anything like I don't feel like walking to the bus stop to pick her up or clean the house or cook for my husband and my daughter, so yeah. Is there a particular reason why you feel this way? I mean, I don't know. It's just that I guess I might just be bored because I don't work. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that it's coming from that. I guess so. Do you and your husband have a good relationship? I mean, he's always gone because he's a truck driver, so he drives and travels overnight so he's never really home so it was just me and my daughter at home all the time okay aside from that are you also stressed out anyway yeah i'm always stressed and i just i just like to smoke to relieve the stress problems and i just sit on the couch and i just i will smoke all day Okay, you say you smoke all day, like you smoke cigarettes, to marijuana, tobacco. No, I just smoke marijuana. Okay, okay. And cause. <laughs> <laughs> you also mentioned that you don't work. Is there any particular reason why you're not having a job right now? I mean, I was a teacher before I had my daughter, but once I had her, and I went back for maybe just a year, but... It's, I just, I, I don't know, once I became a mother, it's just everything was so stressful, and me and my husband's family is not around, so it's just him and I, and when he's not around, it's just me, so I just never went back to working, so I'm just, that's why I guess I'm always so stressed, and I just became lazy. Okay. And how's your relationship with your daughter? Um... I mean, she might say that she doesn't have a relationship with me because she always asks to go outside with her and play with her and dress up. And I just always tell her, no, I don't have the time. Oh, I'm too tired. Let me rest. So. Okay. Well, the first thing I'll say, work, the first thing out of everything, Work on a relationship with your daughter because she's so young right now. You don't want her to feel like she's being neglected or you forgetting all about her or anything. Cause you know, look, has a young and everything, so she'll probably go back to school. And other people, I'm playing with my mom. I'm playing with my dad. She's like, oh, I'm playing with nobody. My mom just sits down on the couch and sleep. And you don't want her to say that because that will also bring child the services involved. If go if she says something in school, so I suggest that you work on building a relationship. I mean, you don't got to take her outside every day, but even if it's just in the house, oh, how about her homework, watch TV together, um, and you say you don't cook and stuff, right? Yeah, I don't cook as much. I just 
when my husband come home, I just let him bring in takeout because I don't even have the energy to cook all the time. Since you don't have the energy to cook all the time, that right there, you use that time to bond with your daughter and help her, help her help you cook and stuff. Like, since she's young, she probably like being in the kitchen a lot, working with her hands and everything. So, I mean, if y'all baking the cake, she could just batter everything good. You just put the icing and all that stuff. It'll, it'll help out. And I also wanted to go back. You said you was a teacher before you gave birth, right? Yes. Okay. And you said you went back for a year after. How that one year when you went back after you gave birth, how has that one year work affected you since then to now? I mean, it was a good year. It's just that I wasn't, I'm not sure if I just wasn't happy to be a mother or if I just didn't, I never like, I never had any experiences with my mother. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult for me to be a mother because I never had that picture of a mother. So going to school, it's just being a teacher, it's just like, it was, my life at home wasn't happy, so I just dragged that stress and that depression along with me at work and I just got to the point where I just didn't want to get up for work. Okay, and would you say that because you didn't have a good relationship with your mom growing up, that is what's affecting you now being a mother? Yes. And you're fucking your job? Yes. Okay, have you ever tried looking into like women counseling or women programs? No, I haven't really looked into talking to anyone. This is my first time attempting to talk to someone about my problem. Okay. Okay, well, I'll first start by suggesting that how about you find another female, like you find a girlfriend, like find another friend, somebody you could go to, as a go to person, like you can express your feelings and vent to them. Okay. And also go to them for assistance because. I know other girl, there's other girlfriends. I know they probably have kids. They be stressed out too. Because being a new mother is so much stress. You got to do work. Then your relationship with your husband, aside from your own needs. So I know it's hard to balance. Mm -hmm. So I'll say find a, find a girlfriend that you can talk to and relate to and help build up your relationship. And listen to that. One more thing. Can you also elaborate on your relationship with your mom? Um, My mother, she was there. I remember her being there when I was young. But it gets blurry around the age that actually my daughter is at, like around six, seven years old. So I don't really remember her being there for birthdays. And she was just so stuck on having a boyfriend. She wasn't really worried about her family. So I was just always been with my father and it, after my mother left I never had a, a woman figure in my life but I'm the only child so I never had a sister I never had aunts around so I never knew how it was to be a woman or a mother okay Ginger well I suggest that you'll go to our one a woman's mentoring program okay. I believe that will help you and assist you more to all your problems that you're going through okay. And also, we also have a daycare downstairs, so if you're unable to take your child in any circumstances, I mean, even if it's just for like a couple hours or two, you can come by and bring your daughter there while you relax and get, your, get yourself together. And I will also say, try to be more productive. And you say you don't clean and, and cook, so I'll try to say at least be more productive. Okay. So I'll probably say put the marijuana down, try to work, put that in, be more productive. And I mean, if you still feel that second time away and you want to use marijuana, you go ahead. Okay. And like, just really relax on it, like cut back on it. Okay. And don't smoke on your daughter because you all want you to set a bad example for your daughter as okay. well. Okay. And say you have a marijuana problem. How frequently do you smoke marijuana? I mean, it's not nothing frequently. I'm not addicted to it. It's not something that I would say is hard to stop. So. Oh, is it, it's just like a go to, like it's just there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll suggest that you work on ways to, when you're smoking urges, just work on ways to find something to replace that. Okay. Um, take a jog, exercise more. Um, it, but again, since with your daughter, dance around in the house, but since you don't like, I'm um, having you run around. Y'all could just be in place. Just put on like a Beyonce video or something. Okay. Y'all could work together and just dance. Okay. 
Okay. And as we conclude our session, you mentioned that you had signs of depression. You said that you have a problem smoking marijuana. You also have a trouble raising your daughter, a better, better relationship with her. And you have a lack of a mother figure in your life. Am mm-hmm. I correct? That's correct. Okay. Well, I would also suggest, since you have signs of depression, keep a journal and... Like, when you feel it down in your zone, I'll probably say when you feel the urge to smoke marijuana because you're stressed out, instead of going to marijuana, just go in your book and just write about how you feel about everything and just keep on going. It will help ease up your mind and take a little stress off. I will also like to give you a little homework. Your homework is to bond with your daughter for at least two or three hours a day. Okay. Begin walking her and picking her up from the bus stop. And just help with the homework. And let's see how that goes for a week. Okay. I know things will happen in a week. So, okay, today's the 13th. Would you like to mind me up on the 25th? Okay, that's fine. Okay, 2 p.m.? Yes, that's good. Cool, I'll see you then. All right, thank you. No problem, you have a nice one. You too.